As most of you already know, a three-judge panel for the Ninth Circuit Court just threw out California's magazine ban. But don't get your hopes up too quick. Today we're going to talk about how that's going to affect everybody in California. joining us on Shoot of the Series. My name is Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and we'd like to thank all of our viewers for sticking with us, helping us get good traction. If you really want to help us out, hit the subscribe button, but also hit the like and hit the share. Uh, this really helps drive the show, and every little bit helps. Now, for those of you paying attention to California, we had some very good news this week, where a three-judge panel on the Ninth Appeals Court basically threw out the law saying that we couldn't have um, regular capacity magazines. And that's a good thing. Now, don't get too excited, though, because there's still a stay that's in, in place, so we can't just run out and buy them. There have been a few online stores that have advertised shipping to California, but I don't know how that's going to work out. So what's important to remember is this is all part of the process. Now, the Ninth uh, Appeals Court has gone a little bit more to the conservative side in the last couple of years. And it could be that it might take a couple of years before they revisit this again. With a little luck, we might see some more conservative judges work to the Ninth in that time so that maybe this little um, interlude until we get back on the list might actually work to our advantage. But something to think about is that right now, the Attorney General for the state of California basically has a couple of choices on how he wants to approach this. And he's only got till the end of the month to do it. The first is to sign up for an appeal with the Ninth uh, Appeals Court to where he would have what's called an end bank decision, where there would be an appeal that would be put in front of an entire 11 judge panel that would review the case again, to see whether or not um, the state could win again. Uh, from there, it could go on to the Supreme Court. Now, the Supreme Court has basically pushed away a couple other Second Amendment cases, um, but there's a lot of people that are itching to get something like this back on their calendar because it does have national repercussions. There's other states that have also got similar types of magazine restrictions. So this could actually help out other states beyond just what we've got going on here. Um, it's also worth pointing out that this is not the only thing that is being considered by the Ninth and being considered by Judge Benitez. Uh, we are still under a review having to do with the new ammunition requirements for all of the background checks. That's also being reviewed. Um, since it started, there have been nearly 400,000 checks run. Um, about a one in five people have been denied. And because it's caused such a hassle, there is a big move to try to get this thing removed. So we might see that, but we could also maybe see some movement on review of California's uh, laws regarding uh, what they refer to as assault rifles. So with Judge Benitez's help, with uh, a conservative move among the Ninth Appeals Court and the relative change in support for uh, the Second Amendment in the United States and California, uh, we might actually see some positive change come out of this. However, we're going to have to be patient with all things. So we just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an overview um, let you know that you should really be supporting uh, California Rifle and Pistol Association, the CRPA. They did most of the heavy lifting on this, as well as the NRA. But the CRPA really deserves your support. So give to them because they're the ones who've actually put boots on the ground. They're the ones that are actually taking this fight to Sacramento, and they deserve your help. So... Keep that in mind. If you're looking for a worthy cause to give to, they're definitely worthy because they're fighting for all of us. So basically, we want to thank you all for tuning in, for watching us here on Shoot of the Series. 
Uh, you can also check us out on our other social media. If you're looking for more information on links, you can also check that out below in our description box so you can have links to these various decisions and read up on them yourself. Once again, I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and on behalf of the team here at Shooter the Series, y'all take care.